What's going on, Flakatis and Cartets, and welcome back to the video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Fallout and Skyrim script extenders for uh, New Vegas. Uh, same process for Fallout 3 and same process for Skyrim. So, what is a script extender? Well, the script extender I actually have it open right here, uh, both New Vegas and Skyrim. And what it does is it basically allows modders to include and alter more stuff in their mod than they would be able to by default. So as a result, a ton of modders use it, and pretty much about 99% of the mods you find out there uh, on the Nexus, and even some on the Steam Workshop, require the script extender to work correctly. So it's probably best to just go ahead, download it, install it, and uh, that way you don't have to worry about it later on. Now, I'm going to be installing it for New Vegas, and I'm going to be showing you how to install it for New Vegas in this video. But it is the exact same process for Skyrim, and Fallout 3, and a whole bunch of other games on the Nexus site. So do keep that in mind. Now, I'm going to have both of these URLs in the description. But you're going to want to go to nvsc.silverlock.org if you're installing it for New Vegas. Or skse.silverlock.org if you're installing it for Skyrim. Now, you're going to want to download, I'd recommend, the latest stable version. That way there's no crashing or anything and everything's tested and good to go. So we're going to click this. And that is going to download the archive file. And I'm just going to uh, go to my desktop and uh, we'll continue from there. Alright, so now I'm going to go to my downloads folder because that's where that file went. And here it is right here. And uh, we can actually go into this, and you're going to need an archiving program like WinRAR or 7-Zip to open this. But um, in here is a folder. You can just uh, open it up and drag it to your desktop. Or alternatively, you can right-click it and extract files and then extract to desktop. And here's the folder here. Either way works. Or you can also just do straight up extract here. We have three different options there. But here is the folder with all the files. We can delete this archive here because we don't need it anymore. And uh, just deal specifically with this folder here. So we're going to open up this folder and inside are a bunch of files. Now you can delete every file except for all the ones with NVSC in front of them. So we do not need the readme file. We don't need that. We do not need the what's new file and we do not need the source code file. Everything else we need though. And what you're going to do is you're going to go, I'm going to open up another file explorer window and I'm going to navigate to my Steam installation and my Fallout New Vegas directory. If you were installing this for Skyrim, you'd navigate to your Skyrim directory. So mine is in local disk C, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Fallout New Vegas. Now I actually already have it installed so I'm not going to install it again. But what you're going to do is you're just actually let me just put this over on this side and I'll put this on that side. There we go. I'm just going to take these files and I'm going to drag them right into the Fallout New Vegas directory. And if you can see here I actually already have them right here. Now you'll know it's the Fallout New Vegas directory because it will have the Fallout New Vegas Dot exe in it and here it is right here so this is the right directory drag it in and uh, we can close this we can actually go ahead and uh, delete this folder here we don't need it anymore everything is installed and uh, we can continue from there so from here it's actually pretty straightforward all you got to do is find the nvse loader.exe and here it is and we can just create a shortcut to it we're going to right click it and click create shortcut there we go. Now this shortcut, we're going to drag onto the desktop or wherever you want to launch your game from. And the reason why we did that is because when you have NVSC installed, you have to launch the game from NVSC. If you don't, uh, NVSC will not load and any mods that require it will not work correctly. So once you have NVSC, always create the shortcut. You can place it on your desktop or wherever you want and then launch the game from there. You can, of course, you know, rename this to whatever you like. I'm just going to leave it like this for the sake of the tutorial. Uh, you can also apply a special icon to it, so change icon. 
okay and uh, we can navigate to like our uh, our steam icon folder and choose an icon from here so like fallout new vegas there we go apply and now we have a regular icon um, but you're going to want to launch the game from this shortcut but uh, other than that you should be good to go but uh, that is going to be it for this tutorial it is the exact same steps for fallout 3 uh, skyrim and any other games with the script extender um, so if you, have, if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them below in the comments, and I'll get back to them as quickly as possible. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you out, please be sure to give it a like on your way out. It would really help me out, and I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and you'll be notified as soon as more come out. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!